town council. The corruption is perpetrated by both MGC councillors acting in collusion with council officials whom they specifically appointed to collude in the commission of corruption. The municipality of corruption boasts of systemic corruption ranging from unfair labor practices, irregular distribution of land, lack of quality service, provision, etc. The list goes on. As we all know, or should know, the municipality is an entity which is established in terms of the Urban Councils Act. Its administration and day-to-day -day running of its affairs are mandatorily governed by the statutes constituting it, and of course by other relevant statutes such as the Labor Act, the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Assets Act, among others. However, in the case of the MDC-led Chitungiza Municipal Council, adherence and compliance to these statutes is an exception and not the rule. Over and above the mentioned statutes, the MDC-led municipality has also, in put, has also in place policies and procedure manuals such as the housing policy, human resources policy, and gender policy to ensure checks and balances. The MDC-led council does not pay heed to these policies and procedure manu manuals. I want to give just below instances of corruption that are taking place in Chitungisa. From the outset of the new council, after the election, and to herald their corrupt character, irregularities surrounded the ele elevation of the mayor. The mayoral election was marred by irregularities leading to the challenging of the procedures that were followed by council. As a result of this challenge, council went for four months without a substantive mayor. Two, barely two months after MDC led council came into office, the stance allocation committee was dissolved. The corrupt MDC led council abandoned the checks and balances that the accounting officer had put in place on the allocation of stance. The housing committee chaired by the councillor, who later became mayor, completely set aside the procedures governing the allocation of stents. The housing committee abolished the stents allocation committee in order to facilitate the MDC councillor's planned corrupt activities on the disposal of land. The dissolution of the stents allocation committee left the housing director with absolute powers to allocate stents willy-nilly and without following or adhering to any procedure. Following the dissolution of the stents allocation committee, 889 stents were allocated arbitrarily, irregularly, and abruptly and corruptly, and without the pretense of adhering to any procedure. Three, sometime in April last year, a further number of stands were allocated also irregularly and corruptly without following laid down allocation of housing procedures. When queries were raised, the director of housing and the director of works did not seem to care and pursued the corrupt activities that they had embarked upon. Four, the Chitungiza MDC Ledge Council has been in complete violation of the regional town and country planning act in the subdivision of state land. Over 100 states have been created in violation of section 43 of the said act. Five, stands of service stations have been allocated without the required certification from the Department of Physical Planning, from ZERA, 
from EMA and other relevant authorities. Six, the town clerk, Dr. Makunde, when he raised the red flag over the irregularities, became a victim and was irregularly and unilaterally suspended, reinstated and then suspended again. Victimization of the West Order. Seven, the several people who were allocated stands arbitrarily, irregularly and corruptly proceeded to develop the stands even before leases were signed and even before plans were submitted and approved by the council. Eight, there is no routine development control exercised by the MDC-led Chitungiza Town Council to stem the illegal development taking place under its jurisdiction as several illegal buildings have sprouted in the area under the jurisdiction of the MDC-led Chitungiza Town Council. And in full view of the MDC councillors' corrupt eyes. Nine, a service station at Shigovanyika shopping centre was corruptly allocated and again without following laid down procedures. The MDC mayor and two others are being fingered in this corrupt allocation of the service station. Ten, the MDC mayor unilaterally appointed engineer Duma as acting town clerk who was himself on bail conditions prohibiting him from interfering and tampering with evidence and with witnesses. The unilateral appointment was done without following any procedures. In this instance, the mayor violated the bail conditions imposed on engineer Duma, who is now responsible for running the council and is accessing all relevant documents implicating him in acts of corruption. In this particular matter, tampering with evidence cannot be ruled out. For corrupt reasons, the MDC mayor deliberately placed the rat in the granary. 11. In appointing Engineer Duma as acting town clerk, the MDC mayor also violated a clause of the Urban Councils Act, which states that in the absence of the town clerk, the chamber secretary shall perform functions conferred or performed by the town clerk. Also to be highlighted is the fact that the MDC mayor has no legal power to unilaterally appoint officials to positions in the council by sidestepping the chamber secretary. The MDC mayor was clearly motivated by corrupt intentions. Twelve, the appointment of the disciplinary board and the prosecutor for the disciplinary hearing of Dr. Makunde, the town clerk, was done, was done without following laid down procurement procedures. The MDC mayor unilaterally appointed a disciplinary board and a law firm to prosecute the matter of the suspended town clerk with the intention, no doubt, to produce the desired outcome. 13. The MDC mayor and the out acting town clerk being persons under investigations themselves for abuse of office and corruption shamelessly went on to appoint a firm to carry out a forensic audit exercise on their corrupt activities. 14. On his part, the acting town clerk himself under his investigation for corrupt activities sidestepped the acting chamber secretary and went on to appoint a junior council officer to act as chamber secretary. This was to put in place a person whom he intended to cover up his corrupt tracks. In view of the above cited irregularities, it is evident that corruption in the MDC-led town council, Chitungiza town council, among the MDC councillors and town council officials with whom they collude is systemic and has become a way of life. Accordingly, 
ZANU PF is demanding that the MDC councillors should resign forthwith and must to pave way for investigation into their corrupt activities. ZANU PF is also demanding the reinstatement of the town clerk who was removed by the MDC mayor to facilitate their corrupt activities. ZANU PF considers the suspension of the town clerk to be narrow and void. Further, in the interest of good governance and transparency, ZANU PF is demanding that the town acting clerk, town clerk, the director of works and the director of housing be suspended forthwith pending finalization of their cases where they are being accused of abuse of office and corruption. ZANU PF is further demanding the suspension of MDC councillors who are fingered in the alleged abuse of office and corruption to ensure that sanity returns to the running of Chitungiza Town Council affairs. More than half the MDC Chitungiza councillors are involved in these corrupt activities, acting in collusion with some council officials. A lifestyle audit must be undertaken for many of these MDC councillors who in a very short period of time and without any alternative source of income besides the sitting allowance they receive have managed to build more than one house in a very short period of time. ZANU-PF is also calling upon the Minister of Local Government and Public Works, Comrade July Moyo, to exercise his powers and to do the following. One, he must rescind all Chitungiza Town Council resolutions past the MDC-led council and intended to embed systemic corruption within council affairs. We also call upon Comrade July Moyo to institute a commission of inquiry whose terms of reference will be to carry out thorough investigation of the many allegations of corruption perpetrated by the Chitungiza MDC-led council acting in collusion with council officials they appointed to those positions to facilitate their corrupt activities. Let me just conclude by reading out something on unplanned settlements, mostly in the peri urban areas of Harare. ZANU-PF wishes to commend government and in particular